Hi everyone, welcome to the session. We have uh, Dr. Saheli joining us. She has got a top rank of All India rank 31 in the NEED Super Speciality 2022 in Pediatrics. And she has got this rank in her very first attempt. So I welcome Dr. Saheli to this interview. Congratulations, Dr. Saheli. Thank you, sir. And Thank you, sir, for the beautiful introduction. Thank you. The pleasure is all mine. Uh, so, is the feeling sunken yet, or uh, you are still trying to, you know, partially? Partially. <laughs> yes, partially. So it's okay. It's a nice feeling. Let it sink in in a couple of days. So, uh, as you said, like uh, this is your first attempt. So, Doctor Saheli, when did you start preparing seriously for super speciality and Sir, I have start for uh, super speciality per se. I have started preparing three months back. Okay. Because uh, I have completed MD only in May, and then I decided I should give an attempt. Uh, so I then joined Prep Ladder and I started preparing uh, somewhat seriously. But before that, I didn't uh, basically prepare for NEET SS. Uh, but yes, during the uh, NEET, uh, during the MD course, I had uh, I was thorough with Nelson. Mm -hmm. So that, uh, that is, was that something. Is, is, but correct, correct. So where did you do your UG and PG from? So I am uh, from West Bengal. So I did both my UG and PG from uh, West Bengal only. UG was from Medical College, Kolkata, and uh, PG was from IPG MAR SSKM Hospital, Kolkata. Nice, nice. Both of them are very good colleges, especially for uh, like for pediatrics also. Uh, these are among the top colleges for doing uh, your post graduation also. So very nice uh, to know that. Other than that, Dr. Saley, if uh, what, what were the things that you found they were useful other than reading Nelson during your preparation days? Like a lot of people say that uh, usually you should be reading a lot of journals and reading multiple resources. So do you think that uh, do you have the time to read so many resources? And secondly, is it needed or you feel that Nelson alone is sufficient enough for your preparation? So because uh, this was my first attempt, I really did not have time to read much. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Nelson was basically all my preparation and uh, I also watched your videos mm -hmm. and uh, practiced some MCQ. So, uh, basically journal I couldn't study mm -hmm. at all. So, yeah, according to me, uh, maybe it can improve rank somewhat, but it is not mandatory. Like uh, for a chunk of the questions, Nelson and uh, other this uh, prep ladder will be enough, mostly. And MCQ practice. Okay. So did you, uh, like, as you said, you benefited from the prep letter uh, content. Uh, so did you solve some MCQs and give the grand test, mock tests also? What is the importance yes, of MCQ this, practice? Yes, MCQ practice is very important because uh, because after completing MD Pediatrics, we all have some basic knowledge of pediatrics already. So uh, in that uh, small time frame, if we do MCQs, then actually that knowledge gets uh, brushed up and it re is retained better yeah. rather than just uh, reading uh, thoroughly. Uh, MCQ solving is really important for uh, competitive exams because it helps uh, the um, creating memory, which uh, you know it clicks in the exam. Sometimes we see similar questions or the concept, and it clicks if MCQ is done properly, rather than only reading theory. So, like uh, sometimes I get messages like students who are just joining in and they they start asking, sir, how to uh, you know plan out your preparation in the first year of MD or second year of MD and second year of DNB. Uh, but I think, uh, as Dr. Saheli has said, whatever you are reading during your uh, post-graduation days, and if you supplement it with Nelson, I think that is very important in the eventual scheme of things, right? What is your take on this? Yes, sir. Yes, uh, sir. My take is uh, we should always uh, be focused on MD course first because uh, those three years are very important. Mm -hmm. And along with that, uh, with the clinical experience, because this time many questions for clinical and approach based so actually a word practice and everything has helped a lot along with that if you are thorough with nelson it can uh, lead to maximum of the preparation and of course uh, then we have to add, add on some things and you have to uh, read again and again to remember things but ultimately those three years do matter because end of the day i think uh, it is important for everyone who's listening to this video to understand that exams will keep coming and going yes exams are very important but end of the day, we are all clinicians, pediatricians, and we have to treat kids. And so having that, you know, knowledge of the subject is very important. It is going to go with you all through your life. So um, I think it's a wonderful uh, suggestion that you gave to focus on the MD. 
So, Dr. Sehli, uh, what were the areas in exam did you find easy, relatively tougher? Any particular parts of pediatrics which you found you could have prepared better? What is your take on the exam pattern itself, like exam uh, areas themselves? Yes, sir. Uh, like, uh, I have noticed in this exam, on one topic, multiple questions were asked. Uh, so, if uh, even uh, if you are preparing one topic, if it is... Uh, no, it is clear to the court, then you can solve four to five questions. So that is something I've noticed from this exam. So that is one thing. And yes, there were a few questions like uh, cystinosis and all. They were, they were uh, basically difficult questions. So there will be always some difficult questions will always be there. But again, then uh, multiple topics on the multiple questions on the same topic were asked in this entire question, uh, entire question paper. So, uh, pediatric neurology, many questions were asked and uh, pediatric cardiology also. It was uh, overall a comprehensive question paper. Okay. So, I felt like uh, overall a comprehensive question paper and uh, yes, uh, general pediatrics, uh, somewhat it was less asked mm -hmm. compared uh, to what I had expected. Yes, somewhat it was less, uh, less asked this time. So this is a pattern we are all seeing that papers are becoming more clinical and there is a slight emphasis more on pediatric neurology, nephrology and even systems, mm. I think, uh, which are not very frequently. I am inborn error of metabolism. Correct, correct. So they were also uh, asked. Yes, yes, yes. So uh, students who are targeting the next exam, please listen to whatever Dr. Saheli is saying that uh, there are certain areas from where more questions are being asked and sometimes a single topic can give you five MCQs also. So if you leave out any important topic and questions are asked, five questions from that, it is going to hurt you in the exam. So uh, Dr. Saley, what are you planning to take up after this? The job is done. I have not decided yet because basically I, uh, I have not decided yet. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking because uh, I didn't get much time to think about this beforehand. So Absolutely, fine. Absolutely fine. You have all the time now to think about, you know, whatever you want to take. You discuss with your peers, discuss with your seniors and take a calculated call. Uh, the, the bad thing, the difficult thing is already done. So in the end, Dr. Oh. Uh, would you like to dedicate this success to someone, your family, your friends, a shout out to anyone? Yes, obviously. Uh, no one alone is responsible for success. So my family, my friends, as well as my partner, all are uh, responsible. They have a significant contribution in uh, this success. So I would like to thank all of them. Great. So you are now going to be busy in trying to find whatever your branch you are going to take. And lastly, yes. any, any last minute advice for people who have not done that well and they will be uh, moving ahead? Yes. Uh, no, you have to keep on trying. If someone is dedicated, uh, someone dedicatedly wants this, then of course they will keep on trying. And uh, yes, you have to focus, uh, be focused, there should be focused reading. Like uh, you are reading a Nelson, that is okay, but sometimes you have to uh, be, you know, that when time is less, you have to read something which will uh, remain with you, which will uh, remain in your memory. So um, you have to uh, create pointers or something. In, this, in that case, the videos are really helpful because uh, everything is there in Nelson also, but it helps in uh, remembering. So that actually helps. Okay. Nice to know that. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Saley, for your precious time and wishing you all the best of your future. And uh, we wish that uh, you reach the zenith of success in all your endeavors. Thank you so much for your precious time with us. So this Thank is you, Dr. Sandeep Sharma and Dr. Saley signing off. Thank you very much. Thank you.